Can't you send someone any sooner? The clock is ticking, and I need this resolved ASAP. I'm sorry, but we don't have any adventurers available at this instant. Ah, your timing is most optimal. Allow me to introduce Yu Ning, manager of the Yun Han Opera Troupe. She has commissioned the guild to... Traveler? Ugh, Yun Jin is always talking about you. Please, you've got to help us find her. Yep, she's gone and disappeared. Now of all times, just days away from the big performance. All she left was a short note. If our audience doesn't get to see Yoon Jean on stage, they'll start tearing the place down. I mean, what am I supposed to do, huh? That's what I said too, but... Look, when you're a megastar like Yoon Jean, you gotta start taking things a little more seriously. Saying she'll be back doesn't give me a whole lot of reassurance when she's showing no regard for her own safety. Why does she have to go and practice somewhere so dangerous? What if something happens to her? What am I going to tell the audience? Well then, what if she gets into a scrape and hurts herself? If she gets so much as a scratch, it'll be a loss to the whole nation. As you can see, this is what we're up against. Would you be willing to accept this commission? Oh, wonderful. Oh, thank the stars. Please, you've got to bring her back safe and sound. you. I do apologize. I didn't see you there. What brings you all the way up here? Oddly enough, I was just thinking of scheduling a meeting with you later. I didn't expect to run into you here, of all places. Oh, I see. So Yunning sent you. I did tell her not to worry. Oh, but on this occasion, it seems I'm rather lucky you came. You've helped me avert a major catastrophe. It's a pity, though. I was so close to achieving the state of mind that Shenhe was talking about. Do you remember what Shenhe said about the Divine Damsel fighting against the evil monster? That in reality, she hadn't acted as courageously as the operatic rendition would have you believe. That it was simply a matter of life and death, and she chose self-preservation. Granted, she later admitted that she preferred the version of events given in the opera, with its portrayal of a divine heroine sacrificing herself for others. But after giving it a lot of consideration, I think that this character is defined by her emotional complexity, and even uncertainty. So the more emotions I can experience for myself, the wider range I will have to draw on in my performance. 
This access to a different state of mind can help me provide a fresh interpretation of the character and her actions. Well, surely it will take my acting skills to the next level. That's why I came here. My plan was to take it slowly. Start by just dipping my toe in, as it were. But once I started, I just got completely drawn in. <sighs> I feel like I was so close to a breakthrough here. You've defeated an ancient god before. How am I supposed to experience genuine danger if you're here with me? Hmm. I suppose I had better return to Liyue Harbor for now. I'll only end up putting you in an awkward position otherwise. Goodness knows how you'd explain this to Yuning. I wonder whether I have gained anything useful from this trip. Hmm. I suppose only time will tell. Can you put a few more adventurers on the case or something? The clock's still ticking away. Please have faith in him. Ah, they've returned. Yunning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. When it's time to go on stage, I'll be there. <sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out exploring. That's fine. But do you really have to go off thrill-seeking this close to the show? You have to take better care of yourself, okay? For all our sakes, for the opera troupe and for your audience. We're just lucky we had the Traveler to help out. What if something had happened to you, huh? What would I say to our audience, hmm? Well, I would say the best way to make it up to our audience is to give them the best performance we can. Don't you agree? While I'm off stage, as long as there is something, anything I can do to improve my acting ability, even the slightest amount, I can't pass up the opportunity. You know, you... you... Ugh! I don't know what to say anymore. Traveler, please, you tell her. So, what's your honest opinion? I'm glad you agree. Right, then let's get preparing. Hey! Hey! Traveler! Get over here! You've only just managed to bring Yunjin back. Now you're taking her straight back out again? What's the big idea? The next show is just days away. Please, if not for me, then for the sake of the opera troupe. I'm begging you. Help me convince her that at the end of the day, she's gotta fall in line. <sighs> well, okay, maybe that's asking the impossible. But at least try and keep her distracted. Please, just keep her occupied until the next show. No more thrill-seeking. What are you two talking about? If it doesn't involve me, I think I'm going to... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what? It does involve you, actually. The Traveler was saying, uh, that, uh... Come on, help me stall her. Oh? Well, what do you need from me? Hmm? You want to become an actor? Uh, you do? Oh, <laughs> yes, of course he does. He was just telling me that he's interested in exploring his dramatic side and uh, would like you to give him some coaching. <laughs> right, good. Well, let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> Traveler, your master awaits. H uh, hold on. I don't know if I'm really ready to take on students yet. <laughs> Please, this is the day you've dreamed. So, for now, I'll just teach you a few basics. Informally, one friend to another, there's no need to call me master. Um, what? Don't you think that's a bit old-fashioned? Let's work on that later. Until we settle on an appropriate title, just call me by my name. Let's meet tomorrow morning on the bridge by the sea at Feiyun Slope. I'll do my best to prepare a good first lesson for you. Whew, what a relief.
you're right on time. Punctuality is an essential quality if you want to make it big in the acting world. Without it, you won't be able to keep on top of all the work you need to do each day. Well, first I'd like you to answer me one question. How many pigeons flew from the bridge when you were passing through? Close. It was seven. Uh, anyway, the point of this question was to test your powers of observation. Eyes are the medium for the transfer of emotion. You must train your eyes to be bright, active, and strong. Watching the birds fly, hover around, and come into land will not only exercise your eyesight, but also cultivate attentiveness. Indeed, my own daily training routine starts right here. I watch the pigeons to train my eyes, and I sing to the tide to train my voice. All in good time. Grasping all the techniques involved in opera singing and posture is not an overnight process. Let's start from the very beginning, with some general theories to help you better understand the concept of performance. Of course. I am in written correspondence with performers from many nations into that, which has rather broadened my perspective on this topic. For example, hmm, let's start with something simple. How would you perform yourself? Try to relive the events of that day when you were battling against an ancient god and fighting off the Fatui. What can you see? What did you feel? Now, I want you to look out at the ocean in front of you and recall the raging waves and the atmosphere of peril from that day. Take a deep breath. Now, gradually, embrace the scene, immerse yourself in it, and let all the emotions back in. Good, good. So that's how you felt. Next, I'd like you to focus on the goal you wanted to achieve at that time. Good, yes. Use that. Okay, good. Now, all of this overwhelming emotion is welling up inside of you, and I want you to let it all out. All at once. Go. Stop. Wrong. This is all wrong. There's no emotion, no soul. Granted, the character you are trying to portray is your own self, but your performance didn't do the same justice at all. I couldn't hear you fighting for your life while gargantuan waves were crashing all around you. What I heard was the sound of someone doing vocal exercises by the beach on a calm day. Here's the thing. When you're acting, it's not only about getting into character, you also have to recreate the scene in your mind as vividly as you can. <laughs> now, I appreciate that you did actually experience this particular scene for yourself, but... Maybe conjuring up specific details of your surroundings at the time is a little too advanced for novices. Hmm, you're right. If we were looking for an environment to help evoke the emotions you felt at the time, I suppose we could try again. A little far- oh? Too far away? Hmm, don't worry, I was just thinking aloud. Besides, even at Greenstone Forest, we'd still have trouble recreating the state of the sea that day. Let's try something else. Come with me to the suburbs just north of Liyue Harbor. If you've got no objections, Let's head off. The battle you fought on the Jade Chamber was a very strange set of circumstances, even for someone like you. It's quite normal that you can't get into character just like that. I know it's hard to recreate every facet of the experience in your mind, but what you could try is to replace the foes you faced in that scenario with ones you are much more familiar with. I'll give you an example. 
Let's say you're performing a scene where your character experiences the grief and pain of a death. But you yourself have never experienced this kind of tragic loss before. Well, you can replace death with another, more familiar scenario that evokes a similar sense of grief and pain for you. Such as... Mm, you bust a gut trying to find a treasure chest, only to finally reach it and find it filled with cabbages and radishes. Ah, now you're catching on. Action scenes work the same way. Perhaps the experience of facing an ancient god is a challenge to recreate. But if you're replaying the kind of actions you perform every day, you just need to let go and your subconscious will guide you through. Come, show me how you normally fight. You can start with monsters nearby. They're coming. Do what you normally do in this situation. Burn! Let's perform the scene again now, while the battle is still fresh in your mind. Look at those red-clad scarecrows. But I want you to see them instead as those Fatui who brandish the sacrificial knives. Now, let us reenact the battle on the Jade Chamber. It's okay if you can't recall the events clearly. You can just replace them with the movements you are most familiar with. And... Attack! <clears throat> The three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballistas. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. Hmm... I can't fault your movements in terms of technique. But Fatui are larger than most monsters. I don't think it was a conscious decision, but you were aiming a little too low. And you also didn't strike with enough force. Overall, it was just lacking that sense of being in the heat of the battle. Veteran practitioners of this acting method are able to adjust and embellish their real-life experience enough so that it makes an adequate substitute for the scene they are trying to portray. But adjusting deep-rooted habits to adapt them for the stage that's no easy task. Still, this was only your first time trying this method. And all things considered, I think you've done quite well. But judging from your movements, I think this next method might suit you a little better. Choreograph every aspect of your onstage performance in advance. Every movement, every facial expression, even your emotions. And rehearse it thoroughly. You can reference existing characters from opera, or imitate similar people from your own life. In short, you want to pin down every detail of the character you want to portray in your mind, and then work through them methodically and find ways to bring them out. Well, in your case, what you need to do is imitate your past self. Think of yourself not as you, but as somebody outside this world controlling your every move. <laughs> It's complicated to explain, but once you give it a try, I think you'll get the hang of it. Okay, how about we start by setting a simple scenario. The Fatui in red want to attack the Guizhong Ballista, and the heavyweight guards in blue want to try and stop you. What you want to do is evade all the blues and go straight for the reds. Yes, I think that sums it up. 
There's an open area to the north. I'll set up a stage for you. When you've finished rehearsing everything in your mind, come and find me. Finished rehearsing? No need to rush. Take your time. I shall guide you with my voice. was a little better. You managed to bring out more of that fearless hero quality that time. <laughs> My hard work coaching you has finally paid off. This method might not sound as sophisticated and exciting as the first two, but it's the most popular choice for teaching beginners. Rigorous rehearsal and vocal training is at the core of this school of thought. It even works on those whose performance lacks emotional depth at first. As long as you practice diligently, with time, you will achieve mastery one way or another. Either your finely honed skills become a good substitute for innate talent, or the process of honing your skills cultivates genuine talent within you. People say that when you truly master the art of singing, even the birds and beasts will be drawn to your song. I know. I guess I still have a long road ahead of me when it comes to developing as a performer. Well, because even if I had, you wouldn't have put your heart into it. It's been written on your face this whole time. <laughs> Just try and keep her occupied until the next show. <laughs> Don't forget that acting is my bread and butter. Did you really think I wouldn't be able to see through it? Still, this is a rare opportunity, and I hope you have at least learned something from it about the beauty of the performing arts. The operatic tradition carries countless historical memories within it. As long as the art is kept alive, the voices and faces of bygone heroes can be recreated on the stage for generation after generation. I hope that your voice and your face will make their mark on Li Yue Opera too. Yes, as well as coaching you today, I have also been closely observing every move you make. Do you remember the basics of the final method? Don't you think there's a striking similarity between you who stood up for Li Yue and fought off a god of old, and a divine damsel in the play? With you as a reference in mind, I'm sure I can finally make a breakthrough in creating- Because as far as I'm concerned, the immersion method, drawing on life experiences, and imitating others are all valuable acting methods. Even if my every movement is rehearsed to perfection, I can't move the audience without conveying emotion. And even if I fully master the character's emotions, a little choreography will help make the performance more polished and appealing. Whatever the method is, as long as it offers something that can improve my performance, I will always give it a try. Thank you for trying them out as well. It means a lot to me. And congratulations on making it to the end of your first acting class. Graduation ceremony? <laughs> I'm afraid that's still a long way in the future. For now, I hope to incorporate part of you into my performance of the Divine Damsel. But one day, I hope to write an opera all about you. 
When that day comes, I hope you will be able to join me on stage and give me some constructive criticism. It'll take a lot of hard work to reach the point where you're ready to go on stage. But I'll be here to keep you on track every step of the way. Ah, oh, here we go again. So old-fashioned. Then again, I suppose I will have to give you a lot of instruction along the way. And if I won't let you call me master, teacher, or coach, I've got to think of something you can call me. Ah, I've got it. You can call me mentor. What do you think? <laughs> Can you put a few more adventurers on the case or something? The clock's still ticking away. Please have faith in him. Ah, they've returned. Inning, we're back. <gasps> Yunjin, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need to go to Boo Boo Farmers? Ah, <sighs> no, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. When it's time to go on stage, I'll be there. <sighs> Look, I get it. You like to go out explore. You have to take better care of yourself, okay? For all, we're just lucky we had the Traveler to help out. What if some- Well, I would say the best way to make it up to our audience is to give them the best performance we can. Don't you agree? While I'm off stage, as long as there is something, and you know, you, you, ugh, I don't know what to say anymore. Traveler, please, you tell her. So, what? Exactly, exactly. Just think of all the people coming from far and wide just to show you their support. Why do you make it sound like they are coming to see me and not the show? Well, same difference, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. They seem quite different to me. Well, either way, you're quite right. I mustn't let down our audience, especially those who came from afar. And I certainly mustn't make you come out looking for me again. So I suppose I will put my training exercises on hold for a while. Phew, I'm glad to know that the brightest star in my troop is finally going to start listening to reason. <sighs> I'm going to head back and see how the set is coming along. Don't go disappearing on me again. <sighs> All right, I'll head back and do some rehearsing. It's no substitute for first-hand experience, but it should still help me iron out a few issues. <laughs> Speaking of which, I haven't even thanked you properly for saving me. If you are free after the show, come and find me at Hayu Tea House. <laughs> Opera is really something, but Liu Opera performed by Miss Yun. Now that's something else. Really, performance. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Your reputation is well deserved. <laughs> well, I've had the pleasure of seeing the talented Miss Yun on stage many a time in the past, but the songs still sound fresh and new. Every single time. It's been barely a few days since I last saw you perform. But once again, Yun Jin, you've progressed by leaps and bounds. Oh, you're far too kind, both of you. I'm still new to the profession, but I promised myself when I joined the troupe that I would strive to develop myself as a performer every day. And I wouldn't be where I am now without everyone's faithful support. Nonsense. You're too humble, Miss Yun. You're a major celebrity. Who in Li Wei hasn't heard the name Yun Jin? <laughs> in the circles I move in, anyone who says they've never seen Yun Jin on stage is at risk of getting laughed out of business. <laughs> <sighs> 
As it happens, I have a business meeting at the Xinyue kiosk with a client who is also a big fan of yours. So, <clears throat> I was wondering if you'd perhaps like to join us for the meal. Oh, uh, me too. I put the table at the Leoli Pavilion and was hoping you might join me. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to both of you, but I won't be able to make it. I'm very grateful for the invitations, but I'm afraid uh, I already have arrangements for this evening. Isn't that right, Traveler? <laughs> okay, you have plans, but... Uh... You're really gonna pass this up? I mean, you can always reschedule. Wait a second, you're... Well, I guess it's not going to work out today, then. Maybe another day, Miss Yoon. Huh, they took off pretty quick. Do they know something I don't? Haha, <laughs> I guess I'll be leaving too. Wouldn't want to cramp your style. Take care, both of you. Sorry that I can't see you off. Whew. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Again. Look at you. You're a national treasure. Even Gentry Maozai is in awe of you. I feel a little sorry for Sinue Kiosk in Newly Pavilion. I just hope the food won't go to waste. I don't think we'd be able to get a seat this late. But it's fine. I have a better place we can go. Let's head downstairs. I owe you a big thank you tonight. Yoon? Oh, wow. It's really you. I, um, <clears throat> I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Hey, get back here. Oh, Bitsy girl, you don't have a clue what you're doing. Are you a journalist? If you'd like to arrange an interview, you'll have to liaise with my manager. Sorry, Miss Young. Uh, don't mind her. She's just new and still learning the ropes. We'll leave you alone. Um. Miss Yoon, I'm interested to know why you added a silk dance to the scene where the Divine Damsel makes her appearance. Hmm? You... you noticed that? Yes. Based on the original script, that scene would see your character perform the Adeptus Walk. But the addition of the silk dance meant that the whole way you carried yourself was so much more... so much more... animated. Yes, yes, but delicate and graceful like a crane. Uh, oh, sorry, which publication are you from? How come I haven't met you before? Oh, uh, I, well... Ah, yeah, well, we're from the Steambird. I am Boy Yi, the editor-in-chief. This young lady is Shuryun, one of my journalists. We were based in Fontaine. Just recently we made the move back to Liyue. Oh, I see. You're from the Steambird. And it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. That's very kind of you, but really, my level of knowledge is very basic compared to yours. Hey! Miss Yoon is throwing you a bone here! Make the most of it, okay? Talk to her! Talk to her! Actually, I'm afraid there's somewhere I need to be. And I'd really need to clear this interview with my manager. <sighs> yes, you're right. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid the troop is pretty strict about the rules for this kind of thing. So we'll have to do this one by the book. Please liaise with my manager, and we can do this interview another day. The Steambird is a highly reputable publication, so I'm sure my manager won't give you a hard time. Once the interview is arranged, I'll be very happy to answer any and all questions you have. But... <sighs> Fair enough. Sorry if we're being intrusive. Please forgive us? We'll leave you in peace. Hey, come on, quit dawdling. Yes, I I'm coming. Uh, bye, Miss Yun. Uh, hey, wait. That's the wrong way if you wanted to talk to my manager. Oh, well, never mind. I have a friend who works for a paper. I'll ask them later. For now, though, the top priority is making good on our plans. Now that I think about it, I've turned down three social engagements tonight. Come with me. Our plan is the only one remaining, so let's make the most of it. <laughs> hmm. 
I can smell the fragrance of food in the air. Yes, Terhu Rock is definitely the place to go after a performance. Oh, so you're a regular in Terhu Rock too, huh? Third Round Knockout has a great view. It's the perfect place to drink some tea and listen to a good story. It's also a favorite of one of my most faithful audience members. But at the same time, it's lacking a little pizzazz. Hey, have you been to Ken the Sharp's place before? His grilled tigerfish is the best around. Third Round Knockout and One Min Restaurant are both great restaurants. But when it comes to barbecue, this is the place to go. Enjoying some nice food and drink, sitting by the hot coals in the cool breeze? <laughs> Let's go. Tigerfish! Grilled tigerfish! Hot off the grill! Oh, hey there. Is this a Miss Yoon which I see before me? It's been a while. What'll it be? The usual? Yes, please. I'm out with my friend today. Let's start with a plate of stir-fried meat, and a handful of skewers, and of course, some grilled tigerfish. Two, please. One with just a hint of chili, and the other one, uh... Got it. Your grilled tigerfish will be ready soon. Do you want any drinks with that? Yeah, I don't advertise it, though, because it's just something I'm experimenting around with for fun. Miss Yun likes a drink with her barbecue, so I ended up getting her to try them out for me. So, would you two like some tea, or...? Hmm. Anything new? Well, I managed to scrounge some milk from Dong Chung next door. A merchant from Mondstadt told me a while back that there's this popular drink doing the rounds there called, a uh, milk tea? I tried my hand at making it, too, but the response has been, uh, kind of lukewarm. Still way off being ready to add to my menu. Tea with milk? Sorry, milk tea? It might not be the best thing for my throat, but if I'm just having a little taste, I mean, I think it should be fine. Oh, but what about you? Anything you want to drink? Okay, let's get yours in first. And then, um, I'll have one of each if that's alright. I'd like to try them all. Okie dokie. Uh, and here's your tiger fish, fresh off the grill. <laughs> Come on, let's enjoy it while it's still hot. Piping hot barbecue and a nice cool drink is the best sensation. Mm. <sighs> that was great. Shame about these drinks, though. I only had a little sip of each one, so there's a lot left over. Well, I mean, I could just drink them, but they're a little bland for me. Nothing that special. I guess he must have toned down the flavors to make them palatable for a wider range of customers. We could just add some flavor back in? In fact, do you know the hot pot game? Let's play the hot pot game with the leftover drinks. I'll add some extra ingredients based on my tastes, then you try to guess what I added. Sound? Don't worry. After mixing in the new ingredients, I'll also drink half, so I won't add any weird stuff. Ah, we don't need to worry about every last detail. Come on, I'll go grab some ingredients from the shop next door. Once you've psyched yourself up, come and join me. Welcome to Second Life. Okay, get ready. Oh, and no peeking. It's ready. Let me try it first. Hmm. Pretty good. Your turn. Huh? Oh, just regular facial expression control. Besides, it's nothing that unusual. I think it tastes okay, doesn't it? <laughs> so did you work out what ingredients I added? Close, but not quite. We can try some more combinations next time. Hmm. I wonder what kind of new flavors I could create with some more traditional teas, like pine nectar or snow blossom. I can't wait to try it out. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Huh. 
Well, people do often say that getting deep into a character is about identifying the part of you that is similar to them and bringing that into the performance. So in that sense, I can't say it's incorrect to conflate an actor and the characters they play on some level. But there are many more sides of me than the few you see on stage. So ultimately, yes, I am not the same person on stage as I am sometimes when I get letters from people. I can tell from the way they write that they see me as someone cold and aloof. I can write back, but I have to be very careful about what I say. Likewise, when I get invited along to banquets and so on, I have to make sure to keep myself calm and composed the whole night. You think so? So you prefer the way I am on stage too? It's fair enough. After all, Every detail of my onstage presence, from the songs to the costumes and makeup, is carefully crafted for maximum appeal. And I've worked hard to try and cultivate an image that appeals to everyone, regardless of age or gender. But if I can't lighten up and joke around, even with my closest friends when I'm off stage, that's a real bummer. Never mind. Talking about this is just going to kill the mood. Tonight was about me showing my gratitude to you. So, did you have a good time? Is there anything else you want? Like, something to remember the evening by? A souvenir, perhaps? Anything you can think of? <sighs> okay, here you go. Well, people ask me for autographs all the time. Usually, what they want is a signed picture of me on stage. Apparently, that makes it more valuable. Yun Ming suggested that I keep a bunch of them on hand at all times to make things easier. Ah, yes! That one is a picture from the Divine Damsel of Devastation. <laughs> I have one just like it on my wall at home. Hey, are you guys talking about Miss Yun's autograph photos? <laughs> I have one in the store too. Well, what do you think? Is this souvenir valuable enough for you? some more combinations next time. Hmm. I wonder what kind of new flavors I could create with some more traditional teas, like pine nectar or snow blossom. I can't wait to try it out. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Huh. Well, people do often say that getting deep into a character is about identifying the part of you that is similar to them and bringing that into the performance. So in that sense, I can't say it's incorrect to conflate an actor and the characters they play on some level, but there are many more sides of me than the few you see on stage. So ultimately, yes, I am not the same person on stage as I am off stage. Sometimes, when I get letters from people, I can tell from the way they write that they see me as someone cold and aloof. I can write back, but I have to be very careful about what I say. Likewise, when I get invited along to banquets and so on, I have to make sure to keep myself calm and composed the whole night. Ahem. <clears throat> I bought you one drink, okay? It's not a license for you to start saying weird stuff like that. <laughs> well, never mind. You seemed like you were being sincere. I'll let it go. All I was trying to say is that everyone has many different sides to their personality. And if you get fixated on just one of those, there's so much you'll never discover about a person. I mean, if we hadn't had the chance to hang out and chat like this tonight, there are things about you I might never have gotten to see, like the mighty and distinguished traveler diligently reviewing my hot pot drinks. Me? Serious? <laughs> on stage, I guess. But off stage, just think of me as another one of your friends. Just one who happens to have a flair for the dramatic. So, friend, what shall we do next? 
something to remember today by? Get a photo? You mean, capture this happy moment for posterity so we can look back on it later? Sounds good. Let's have the food stall in the background. Hmm. Now how should I pose? looks good. I hope whenever you look at this photo in the future, it will remind you of the good time we had today. Hold on. How is one photo going to be enough? We'll both need one if we want something to remember each other by. You take this one, and I'll take another photo of you. But could you find another location for us? I'm thinking somewhere around Feiyun Slope with a good view. I'll join you in a moment. I have something to prepare here first. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. <sighs> the view here is great. The lights, the buildings, it's the ideal spot. I could see you chose it carefully. Mm, yes, this angle is perfect. Okay, strike a pose and close your eyes. Yes, please, quickly now. Get ready. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. The key here is consumer psychology. Wow, it's really you! I, um, <clears throat> I have just a few questions, if you don't mind. Hey, get back here! Oh, Bitsy Girl, you don't have a clue what you're doing! Are you a journalist? If you'd like to arrange an interview, you'll have to liaise with my manager. Sorry, Miss Yun. Don't mind her. She's just new and still learning the ropes. We'll leave you alone. Miss Yun, I'm interested to know why you added a... Hmm? You... You know. Yes, based on the original script. Animated. Yes, yes, but... Uh, oh, sorry. Which publication are you from? Oh, uh, I... Ah, yeah, we're fr we were based in Fontaine. Just recently we made the move back to Liyue. Oh, I see. You're from the Steambird. Then it's no wonder. Your journalist has clearly done her research. Th that's very kind of you, but really, my level of knowledge is very basic compared to yours. Hey! Miss Yoon is throwing you a bone here. Make the most of it, okay? Talk to her. Actually, I'm afraid there's somewhere I need to be. Then I'd really need to clear this interview with my manager. But what about our plans? Really? Okay, sure. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Yoon. Great. Thank you both kindly. Let's find a quiet place and get this interview underway. Oh, I see. So that's why you added the silk dance in this scene. Yes, exactly. Doing it this way not only allows for more physicality in my movement, it also means... Ah, okay. So there was even more to it than I thought. So... Wouldn't it make sense to contrast this with the Dong Tong Appassionado section that comes directly afterward by making the latter a little more sophisticated? Hmm. I think I know which section you're talking about. Ah, sorry, sorry. What am I saying? This is a fixed formula, isn't it? My suggestion would completely break the format. No, it's okay. It's an interesting idea for sure. I'll give it some thought. Thanks for the suggestion. <gasps> really? Wow, I'm so honored. <laughs> um, uh, Shuryun, 
maybe it's time to move on to some of the things our readers would like to know about, hmm? Oh, okay. Um, I was also going to ask for your opinion on the set and the costumes. <clears throat> yes, well, I'm sure Miss Yun has countless pearls of wisdom she could share on her chosen crafts. <laughs> but, uh, not all of our readers are quite so, uh, artistically literate, shall we say. A, a, a lot of them really just want to know more about you. You know, what does Yunjin do when she is off stage? Hmm? Excuse me? When I'm off stage? Uh, you know, you're a major celebrity, and a lot of our readers are interested to know what life is like for you. What kind of place you live in, what kind of things you eat, clothes you wear, things you buy, the whole side of things. A day in the life. Um, besides rehearsing, a day in my life isn't really any more interesting than anyone else's. Nonsense! Of course it is! Just think how many people were at your show earlier. They come from all over just to show their support. In fact, a relative of mine has a daughter who's been saying she wants to broaden her horizons recently. She's been looking for a chance to give you a jade hairpin as a gift. Oh. It's against the rules of the opera troupe to accept private gifts from patrons. Hmm. Could someone out there be accepting gifts for the troupe under false pretenses? I must get Yunning to look into it. Uh, I, I mean, it, it wasn't a big deal. Just something she said. Uh, forget I brought it up. So, I saw Gentry Maotsai and the Snezhnayan gentleman come down from upstairs. Are they patrons of your shows, too? So, what are your thoughts on Snezhnaya and the Fatui? Huh. Ugh. I'm sorry. This is my first interview, and my notes are becoming a total mess. I might need a moment to pause and reorganize them a little. Otherwise, I'll never be able to work all this into an article. Uh, Mr. Boy, maybe you should take a look, too. Don't be ridiculous! Stopping an interview halfway through to organize your notes? What is it talking about? Hey, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Miss Yun, we'll just be a moment. Oh. I'm fine. It's not the first time I've been asked questions like these. The last time it happened, Yun Ning stopped the interview for me. But the next day, the tabloids were full of articles like Dramatic Exit, Yoon Jin Storms Out of Interview, and Miss la -Di da Opera Star is Too Good for Our Questions. <sighs> yeah. So from then on, Yoon Ning said all interview requests have to go through her. I used to think I could hold the troupe together just by putting on a good performance. But now, I have to make sure I concentrate on my actions off stage too. <sighs> oh. You mean San Arya and that crowd? I cherish them as members of my audience, too. But there aren't many people like them who can appreciate all the nuance in a single viewing. How did Shuryun end up working with an editor like that guy? Something feels wrong there. Ugh. I could be back at any moment, so I should stay here for now. But could you go look into it for me? If you find out anything, come straight back here and let me know. to Miss Yoon. Shh, keep your voice down. Whatever you got to say, it can wait until we're out of earshot. We'll both be in hot water if Yoon Jin finds out. Uh, what's wrong with you? Why can't you get it into your head? Quit asking dull questions and start thinking about how to win over our readers. Do... Find anything else? I see. Well, don't 
worry. It's okay. It's just a bit of a shame that I didn't get to talk with Shiryun for longer. She genuinely understands opera and has a passion for it. That's not something you can act. If I had the chance to talk with her more in depth, it could well provide me with some fresh inspiration. Yoon Jean, Yoon Jean. <sighs> Did you agree to another interview without notifying me? These tabloid types are total scumbags, all of them. Who knows what innocent detail he might end up turning into the next big scandal. Sure, nothing might have come of it today, but who knows where it'll go tomorrow. <sighs> Short of catching them all in their lair in one fell swoop, who knows when this is going to end. I'm sorry. I was careless on this occasion. Well, wallowing isn't going to solve anything. Come on, go tell everyone in the troop to be extra cautious during this time. Ugh, gee, oh lord, bless us. Spare us any more. Wow. I've had it with you. Do you think contracts are just bits of paper? If we weren't on a tight deadline, you'd better believe I'd fire you right here on the spot. Hmm. You will stay here and reflect on your actions if you know what's good for you. Sorry, but I'm not babysitting you anymore today. Oh, what am I going to do? <gasps> you're... you're the one who was with Miss Yun earlier. Oh, really? Miss Yun wrote me a letter? I'll read it right away! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Really? I can't believe this. Miss Yun says that under Liyue law, any penalty charge I have to pay may not substantially exceed the amount of my salary. You can't have a labor contract that would completely bankrupt the employee in the event of a breach. It's not legally binding. So not only can he not get any money off of me, I can take this contract to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and blow the whistle on him. I didn't think about any of this when I was job hunting. I just signed the contract without a second thought. I always thought Ms. Yun was all about opera. Who would have thought she was such a legal expert, too? <sighs> if only I hadn't gone out of my way to get Ms. Yun's attention in the first place, none of this would have happened. I didn't expect it to end up with Miss Yun helping fix my life problems. Well, Mr. Boyi says I'm still on probation, so he won't tell me where their work location is. Plus, I give all my draft articles straight to him, so I don't have anything in the way of evidence. I wouldn't put it past him. But the letter says that my statement and the contract are enough to get the Millilith looking into it. If Miss Yun says so, I'm sure she must be right. Let's go confront him right now! Hey, I think I've covered this topic pretty thoroughly now. Unless you had any more questions? <laughs> well, well, what can I say, Miss Yun? You have so many wonderful qualities. Let's not quit while the ball's rolling, huh? Otherwise, I'll think of something I didn't ask later, and by then, it'll be too late. So, um, hey, where's that, uh, friend of yours who was here earlier? You guys seemed, uh, pretty close. Not intentionally avoiding the interview, Shirley. <laughs> You're finally back. This poor gentleman's been waiting for you. you you're with Shiryun? Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Shiryun, don't forget the contract you signed. The Traveler clued me in. This contract you made me sign? It isn't worth the paper it's written on. Isn't worth the paper it's written on? Don't be ridiculous, it's all there, clear as day. Don't you think I did my research? Research? Oh, so you're a news editor. But you also have an interest in law? Uh, uh, yeah, she, she, she's new, and she's making a fool of herself. She doesn't get how this all works. My apologies. Now, uh, back to our interview? No, it's okay. In fact, I found myself delving into some legal texts recently. It's all so intricate and complicated that it's very difficult to take it all in. The contracts of our opera troupe are a case in point. I'd finally finished reading through the relevant documentation from the Yehai Pavilion, when suddenly, the Chi announced a new interpretation. So I'm just curious. 
How can you be completely sure that you didn't miss anything when you were researching this? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I read everything relevant. Under current legislation, the penalty terms in my labor contract are unreasonable and exploitative. I could report you to the Millilith for extortion. Nonsense! Th th that's ridiculous! My goodness. Sir, it seems that we should probably bring this interview to a close here. D d don't listen to her! I run a legitimate business. Everything we do is above board. Oh, I have no doubt about that at all, sir. But this reminds me of a case I read about not long ago. Once you get reported and the Millerists start scrutinizing your business, well, not only do they look into every license you have and every work you've ever published, but everything down to your fire safety policy will come under their magnifying glass as well. So if you don't get back now and start preparing for their arrival, well, I mean, I don't mind continuing the interview at all. But I'd hate to take up too much of your precious time if there's any aspect of your business you want to double-check from a legal standpoint. Ah, uh, you? I won't forget this! Hey, where do you think you're going? Miss Yun, why did you stop me? Right, and the contract I have is enough to get him arrested, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not a legal expert. I haven't the faintest idea. All that was just an act, aimed at getting him to show us the way. An act? Show us the way to... Eugene, the Millilith are after him. Based on his movements, it looks like Boyi is heading back to his headquarters. <sighs> I really hope they teach these tabloids a lesson they won't forget. It'd sure make my life a lot easier. Yes. I had Yunning report to the Millilis while you were delivering the letter for me. The penalty terms in Shuryun's contract are too severe. Even if they don't violate the law, I'm sure he must be taking advantage of some loopholes. Anyone who works like that is sure to have a guilty conscience. So all I had to do was put on a little show starring the editor-in-chief of the Steambird. And now, he is sure to lead us to the solid evidence. <laughs> well, acting has to be authentic to be believable. Their little publication will go out of business in no time. <laughs> Good riddance, I say. I hope this gets the other tabloids to rein in their antics, too. Hey, here's a thought. Maybe we could get him to rat on some of his rival publications. Ah, I only just realized what this means. I'm... I'm going to be out of a job, aren't I? Hmm... Well, would you still be interested in submitting an article to the Steambird? But the real one, this time? Well, yes! Of course! But, uh, would they really accept an article from me? Yunning, when can we arrange the next interview for? Oh, so now you're asking me. <laughs> Two days from now, morning. Work for you? Okay. Sure you? Let's continue our discussion about tonight's play two days from now. Does this mean I get to do a full feature interview with you? Okay, I think I know what I want to write about. Thank you, Miss Yun. Don't mention it. I'm sure it will be a source of inspiration for both of us.